Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and I'm here to read another story to you today. I've been waiting to read this story called Chicken Chickens until I finally got my new baby chicks. And I want to show one of them to you right now, and then I'll show them all to you after the story. But this is one of my baby chicks. It's one day old. And whenever she grows up, in about 16 weeks, she'll start to lay eggs. She's called a black ostrilorp. See? Oh, you, can you hear her? Beep, beep, beep. Anyhow, I'm going to put her back here with her friends. And I'll read the story to you. It's by Valerie Gorbachev. Chicken chickens. See these little chicks? Looks like they're afraid. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Chicken Chickens by Valerie Gorbachev. One fine day, Mother Hen took her two little chickens to the playground for the very first time. Let's see, here they are. The little chickens were a little scared. There was so much going on all around them. See? They don't even know which way to look first. There's so much going on. They watched two dogs going up and down on the seesaw. Hey, chickens, called the dogs. Do you want to play with us? Uh, no, thank you, they replied. We're just little chickens. They watched some pigs spinning around on the merry-go-round. Hey, chickens, called the pigs. Do you want to get on with us? Oh, no, they replied. We might get dizzy. We're just little chickens. <laughs> hey, chickens, called some big cats. Do you want to try the swings? Thanks, but we might fall off, they replied. We're just little chickens. Then the little chickens saw some frogs and mice playing up on the slide. Up, up, up they climbed, then wee down they slid. Hey, chickens, said one of the mice, climb on up, you're next. Oh no, it's much too scary, they replied. We're just little chickens. We're little too, said the frogs and mice, but we're not afraid. Come on, give it a try. Well, said the little chickens, maybe. And slowly, step by step, they climbed up the ladder. When they reached the top and looked down, the little chickens were frozen with fear. Slide down, shouted one of the frogs. Don't be such chicken chickens. We can't, cried the little chickens. We're afraid. Don't worry, said Beaver. Everybody is afraid the first time they slide, but I have an idea. Let's slide together, said Beaver. Just climb on my tail and hold tight. The little chickens held on tight and closed their eyes. Whee! cried Beaver, and down the slide they went. Look at all their friends cheering them along. Wee, wee, cried the little chickens as they slid off Beaver's tail. We did it. Mother Hen came rushing up. What's wrong, little chickens? She asked. Are you all right? We're fine, said the little chickens. We went down the slide and we weren't scared at all. I let them ride on my tail, Beaver said proudly. Well, thank you for being so nice, said Mother Hen. Just then, she heard her little chickens calling. Look, they cried. We're going to slide down all by ourselves. And wee, wee, that's just what they did. Hooray, hooray, cried all the animals. Hooray for the chicken chickens. Wee, wee. And there they are, happy, going home. Well, that's a cute little story. They got over their fears, those little chickens. Now here, let me show you my chicks. Okay, so here are my chicks. 
Here's one. <laughs> oh, she's looking at you close. Two. Oh, where'd you go? Two, right there. Oh, three. Four. Five. Oh, get back over here. And here's number six. Oh, number six. There. Aren't they cute? Yeah, just one day old. You have to keep them safe. You have to keep them warm. You have a heat light for above their little cage. We had to teach them how to drink water today. We had to put their little beak in the water so that they knew where it was. And I had to put their beak in their little food dish to see where it was. You have to take really good care of baby chicks. It's a big responsibility. Oh, they're all huddling together to keep each other company and warm. So I better have I better go put them back in their back in their cage so they're under their warm light. But thank you for listening to my story. And thank you for letting me share my little chicks with you. <laughs> I'm sure I'll probably have them in a couple more stories over the next few weeks, so maybe you'll get to see them grow. I'll talk to you later. Bye.